Yo, what's up guys, LeeTube here again with a new video. This video is going to be my current up to date settings considering my last settings video was over a year and a half ago. I'm going to cover my keyboard joystick settings, my anti micro settings for my movement, my keybinds, my sensitivities, my peripherals, and even my video settings. Now that I've been using this keyboard joystick for over a year and a half now, I can confidently tell you that you should have faith in these keybinds since I have done a lot of playtesting with them and think they're very optimal. Speaking of keybinds, that is the first thing that we're going to get into. Feel free to watch that back if you guys are actually interested in using these keybinds. By the way, I actually use place build on my right click instead of my left click. This change was honestly life changing for me, I'm not gonna lie, because before I used to just spam everything with my left click, my editing and building, but by dividing everything out between two separate buttons instead of just one, makes your building and editing a lot faster and more optimized. I like these keybinds a lot since I think they're very optimal. I literally have each one of my fingers separate for each build bind and an edit key. Since I like editing fast, I actually have my edit button on V, which is where my index finger rests when I'm using the joystick. And since my edit finger naturally rests there, it's actually a lot quicker to hit edits, since I don't have to move my finger every time I want to make an edit. That also applies to all of my build keybinds too. Also, this is very important to point out. I have this top corner of the joystick where the screw is in at on the left corner of my end key. The reason I do this is because when I hop on the game, I want my fingers and hands to be positioned the exact same way every single time. Now I'm going to move on to my anti-micro settings. I actually wasn't using anti-micro my entirety of using the joystick until 3 weeks ago, but my boy Freaky Naughty hit me up on Twitter saying that it makes your movement a lot better. So I tried it out and he was definitely right. It makes your movement a lot sharper and crisp compared to the regular joystick. You can use the joystick without it, but honestly after trying it out, I cannot go back. By the way, you cannot get banned for using anti-micro. A lot of controller pros use this to improve their movement and also reduce input delay in their controller. So I'm actually going to make a whole new profile for you guys just to show you what you want to do when you have fresh settings. So first you want to click on your left stick and then click on it for your presets, arrows, which is going to be your movement keys for your in-game is going to be your arrow keys for up, left, down, right. For your stick mode, you want to put it on eight way. So for your dead zone, it's actually how far your joystick has to go to activate. So I have mine set around 9,000 just so I don't have like unnecessary stick drift. By the way, your controller dead zone also matters in game. So I set mine to 24%. For a diagonal range, I keep mine at 64, just kind of what I felt comfortable with whenever you try to switch to the different directions. Square stick, don't really know what that does, I leave it. Stick delay, I don't really mess with that either. So that's pretty much what I did for my left stick settings. So you want to close that out of here. And once you close out, you see that your up, down, left, right are set, but not these corner ones, which you actually do need to keep on to get the sharper 360 movement. So these three buttons to your left, you want them all to your left arrow key. And then these three to the right, you want them all on right key. And that's literally all you have to do is to do your anti-micro settings. So you want to save it, put for whatever name, and you should be good. Also, I forgot to mention, if you want anti-micro to start up without having to load it every time you hop on your computer, just go to your settings and your options and uh, check all these that I have checked out. After you're done with your anti-micro settings, load up Fortnite and then go to your settings. Make sure your keybinds are set like this, where forward is up, left is left, backwards down, and right is right. Also, you have to make sure that you have these options checked. So go to this little mouse and keyboard setting, go to ignore gamepad input off and then lock your input method as mouse on. Now that I got my joystick settings out the way, I'm going to show you guys my sensitivities. So my DPI is 1100 DPI, my X and Y sense is 10%, targeting sense is 70% and my scope sensitivity is 60%. I'm going to show you guys my video settings. I play on full screen mode. I also play native res. My frame rate is unlimited. I don't think it really matters too much from 240 to uncapped, so I just leave it uncapped right now. Brightness is 125%, color blend mode is trident up 5, 3D res 100%, view distance medium, textures medium, this on, this off. I use performance mode with high meshes. I actually don't like the low meshes because I can't see through uh, the wood builds. And I also have vsync off. Now I'm going to tell you guys all of my peripherals, started with my joystick, I use a GMK joystick, I actually do have a checkout code on their website, if you guys want to use code soup at checkout, it does actually help support me, so I would appreciate that. My mouse is a Razer Death Adder V2, my mouse pad is an Artisan Hind Medium Soft, large size, my monitor is an Acer XF250Q 240Hz monitor, my keyboard is a GK61 with Gatoron Silver switches, and finally my headset is a Fnatic React. 
But yeah, that pretty much wraps up all of my current up-to-date settings and peripherals for this video. Hopefully this video helps anybody that keeps asking my chat for my up-to-date settings and peripherals. And I uh, hope to catch you guys on the next video. Peace.